What's up guys, my name is Steve and this is Tech Teardown. We're a brand new tech channel where we do tech reviews, PC building, and other types of tech and gaming content. If that's what you look for on YouTube, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell so you don't miss one of our uploads. Now today in this video, I have another used old graphics card for you that I'm gonna be testing and seeing how it performs here today in 2019. And that card here is the r9 fury it came out in 2015 and this specific model that i have is the sapphire nitro plus tri x r9 fury and this thing is absolutely massive as you can see and the cooler is actually bigger than the pcb it has a nice back plate on it and just a nice sexy card all around and uh, the cooler does a pretty decent job keeping it cool where I saw temperatures around uh, 50 to 60 degrees. I think the maximum I saw was 64 degrees during a fire strike run. And I think this is a great little card for you, a giant card actually for you. I picked this up for $120 on eBay and it was a great deal. I actually don't regret buying this. I did use this uh, graphics card in a previous video where I did a collaboration with Cameron from Definitely Tech. And that is a, it was a build competition where we had to use the Core 2 Quad. And since that was a, a processor from 2007, it didn't really show off the actual power of this graphics card because it was bottlenecked so hard. But if you want to see that collaboration competition, I uh, will leave a link to that video in the description as well as links to definitely text video as well. And the, our competition is going to be judged by OzTox Hardware coming up next week. So I'll leave a link to OzTox Hardware's channel so you can subscribe and make sure you can check out the results of that competition. Now I did go ahead and test a whole bunch of games for you so you can see how this car performs here in 2019. And I'm going to go ahead and roll those benchmarks so you can see how this performs. Uh, my test system that I used has a Ryzen 5 1600 processor, 6 cores, 12 threads at stock speeds, and then I had 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 3000 megahertz. All right, so let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how this game, this car performs here in 2019. I'll come back and tell you my thoughts. All right, guys, so as you can see, this graphics card, the R9 Fury, just really runs all of the games here in 2019 very well. Uh, I love the performance of this card. Some things did surprise me, like the 0.1% lows on games like Fortnite, Apex Legends. That did surprise me because the frame times were not fantastic, around 15 to 16 milliseconds as the highest I've ever seen on those games with this card. But... I didn't think it was high enough to where it warranted a 0.1% low, as low as it was showing in this data. Even Doom had a 36 0.1% low, which was even more surprising to me because I ran it on Vulcan. Other than the 0.1% lows here, I would say that the, the, the temperatures were running great. 
Uh, the sound levels on this card I, I thought were really great. The only thing, I thought the fans ran silent. There was some coil line in the card that I think really drove up the decibels. Uh, you can see here on the screen that I'm really only getting about 47 dBA. Uh, highest I saw it spike up to was 48, and that's when the coil line was at its like highest peak. Now with the ambient noise level in the room with the cards, fans not spinning, uh, you saw it was about 40 dBA, uh, bringing up to about 7 with the noise level meter. The card isn't putting off that much sound. And then if you consider the fact that I tested this card outside of a computer case, if you get it inside of a computer case, the noise levels will be even lower. You're not even going to have the noise levels that you have here with me. That, lots of different variables in my noise level testing that are going to affect your experience with the card. Seeing that I tested it open air and I was also holding the noise level meter by my uh, by a hand. Obviously, I don't have a steady hand, so just moving that around does affect the readings that we got. Uh, so one of the other reasons why I want to know if you guys think if this is a type of data that you actually care about. If you want to know if the, if you have any ideas on how to improve my testing methodology when it comes to noise levels. Now, I don't have the means to fill a room filled with beanbags like Linus did in that one video when he was testing CPU cooler noise. But I do want to hear from you guys if you think there's better ways uh, and better methodology that I should implement in my noise level tests in the future if that is a piece of data that you care about. All right, guys, so I think that is going to wrap up this video. Let me know down in the comments what do you think of the R9 Fury here in 2019? I think this is a sexy looking card, but I also think it performs just as well as it looks. So uh, let me know down in the comments what you think. And if you like the video, please give it a like. It helps me out with the algorithm. If you want to see more from us, please hit the subscribe button and the bell. And we'll see you guys in the next video.